So Lake Michigan fishing, guys, weather, waves, all of that, always make that number one. It's a dangerous place and it could change in a heartbeat. So just be prepared for that. I've been fishing Lake Michigan for a few years, perch, this, that, uh, a while. So I kind of know where they're going to be at at certain times of the year. You got to follow the boats. That's all I can tell you. I won't give you GPS points. I'm sorry. But get out there and cruise around. It's what we had to do this day. You find the boats, you're going to find the perch. We're all perch fishing, Lake Michigan, and these are big ones. We're in 54 foot of water. couple miles offshore it can get spooky um, seasickness all that comes into play I think it needs some more weight I'm thinking that's what we need more weight plenty of split shots you mean he swallowed it these fish are coming out of 50 foot of water their air, air bladders automatically blow up that's a nice one that's a nice one yeah. <laughs> don't let them come off <laughs> Think of them perch. I like those. <laughs> Trying to kill me. Get you another one? So my man Lance Rosencrantz, he was on big ones. I mean, he caught all of our bigger fish. And I got him at the end, though. Once I figured out 
they wanted jigging a little bit more it was just a soft pull up pull down pull up pull down when you felt weight you hit them usually i'm just sitting on the bottom they didn't want it like that today Beautiful. now get some heads turning Had to move a minute, Lance. That's all. That's what you wanted. Got one. I got two. <laughs> I got one on both rides. Oh, no kidding. those bigger fish sometimes you got to be careful how many of us have ripped a big one off and he fell off that's one reason I have that net that or I'll take my time get him to the boat make sure I see how he's hooked and know that I can grab that the snell hook because that's heavier line I'm only using six pound line comes off the spool easier gets down there quicker how can you not like those I know. A lot of guys are using double rigs. There's nothing wrong with it. If that's what you want to do, do it. I've always been a single hook guy. And I catch just as many as everybody else. I don't get the doubles, this, that. I do fine. It's just more bait in the hook, more this, more that. It's just preference. The thing is, with the fish this time of year, when they're in that deep of water, their air bladders come up. When they do that, you throw that fish back in the water, he's gonna float. Bird's gonna eat him or he's gonna just die. We keep every fish we catch. We get our limit, we leave. Doesn't matter if they're this big or this big. Simply for that fact. swells and when you have that trying to fish a line you're you know the rods going this that rod holders no lawn chairs no not on them kind of days i just think they're down there <laughs>
Lance and I aren't being picky today. These are all good sized fish. We're gonna get our 30 and get off the water, hopefully here real soon. Yep, they're down there. Gotta love it. a real good shot of their air bladder. Ooh, another tank. Look at the size of that one, guys. <laughs> Toad. Yeah. Look at the size of them things. <laughs> you ain't coming back out here, are you? No. This is a waste of time. <laughs> <laughs> Catch him, Lance, and I'll keep counting. <laughs> How's that? You'll never be able to please everybody. Information, spots, fish, this, that, blah, blah, blah. It happens. But we got our 30 fish and we left. That's what we were there for. We were there for 15 apiece. We knew they were gonna be good ones, most of them. You're gonna get some small ones in there. Not many, not this time of year in that spot. But we left them biting. DNR checked us at the ramp. We pulled up, loaded the boat, pulled out, went to tie up, DNR stopped us. Checked our license, checked our fish, and counted every one of them. It's another reason that little net comes in handy. When you're moving them from one live well to the other, it helps. All was good, glad to see them out there. It's easy to take advantage of it this time of year. Because when you're on them, you're on them. I want to thank you guys for watching. Hit that subscribe button and share it. If it's something you enjoy, something you learn from, share it. Pass it on to somebody else. I'd appreciate that. We'll see you guys out there.